right, all right. Uh, welcome to the workshop, How to Drive More Repeat and Referral Business with Email Marketing. My name is Chris Hunter. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of ProvingSites.com. I'm also the author of the Ultimate Guide to Digital Marketing for Roofers. All right, so what we want to talk about today is something that's uh, pretty important and something that we have found that a lot of roofing companies just don't do at all. Before we get into really how to do email marketing correct, I want to first talk about a little quick story here, okay? See, a few years ago, we did, we went through and assessed, we, and we learned, by the way, to call it assess, right? Not audit. But we assessed a thousand roofing companies marketing and went through this exercise and looked at all sorts of things, including, you know, their search engine optimization, their Google Maps, their pretty much everything, okay? And one of the biggest things that stuck out to me out of all of them is what we're going to talk about today, email marketing. Just know that what we're discussing today is really something that is a long-term play, but can also be a short-term thing that you can add into your marketing mix, okay? Okay, so who am I? Again, I'm Chris Hunter, Chief Marketing Officer of RoofingSites.com, author of the Ultimate Guide to Digital Marketing for Roofers. I'm a member of the NRCA, the National Roofing Contractors Association, the Roofing Contractors Association of Texas, RCAT, and the Houston Area Roofing Contractors Association. That's really hard to say all of those acronym type things, you know, uh, all together. I am a father of three. I've got three wonderful, wonderful kids, uh, ages 18, 15, and 12 right now. I do everything that I do literally for them, you know? So I've been doing search engine optimization since 1998. If you do your ma uh, math on that, that's before Google actually existed. Okay. So my first site that I ranked was on Yahoo. Uh, and I, I know that really, really dates me, but I, I ranked my, my personal site on Yahoo really just trying to figure out how to do that. And then when Google came around, really just switched to that for my own business. And then we started offering it to local businesses. And we're in the Bryan College Station area in Texas, uh, home of Texas A&M University. And this is, uh, you know, we started really just dominating our area using search engine optimization as the tool in order to do that. Random fact is that I'd love to smoke Texas barbecue. If if you like to eat Texas barbecue and you're ever in the College Station area, let me know in advance and I will smoke up a brisket and some sausage for you Texas style. I smoke all sorts of things, but brisket is one of my favorite things to uh, actually smoke and my family's favorite thing that I smoke as well. I'm on a mission to double the size of 100 roofing companies before uh, 2028, all right? And if you're one of these companies, you're listening to this and you are really trying to figure out how to grow your business, I'd love to sit down and talk with you. Okay. So that's not what we're here for today. We're here to talk about your database, right? Your email database. One of the things that surprised me when we did that exercise and, and we figured out that y'all in general, okay, that roofing companies in general were just not utilizing email. One of the things that, that we in the marketing industry know is that your database is pure gold. It's pure gold. And it's because you can go back to that database, your email database specifically. And nowadays, you can use mobile phones to text out to your uh, former customers, people that have done business with you before. right? So your database, as long as you're growing your database, your business is going to continue to grow. Because you can keep dipping back into that well and going back to those same people that have purchased from you before. Okay. I like to use email marketing for all sorts of things. And, and that's what we're going to kind of get into here today. Okay. So the problem though with y'all, <laughs> roofing company owners, not paying attention at all to email is that you're missing out on repeat and referral business. You're not actually going back to those people to get referrals you're not you're not getting them to even know th remember who they used right to do their roof the last time or who fixed their roof the last time the other problem is that you're just not staying top of mind by not leveraging email now mind you email is practically free okay yes you have to pay for a platform to send those, that out to through something like MailChimp or Constant Contact or whatever CRM that you're going to use in order to send emails out, but it's a free platform. It's not like search engine optimization where you have to have someone like me that really knows what the heck they're doing, okay, or my team 
it's not like Google ads to where you have to have someone sitting there and monitoring those things all the time and you have to pay for that person to do that. Email can be done by the business owner. Okay. And it should be sent out at least when you're small enough to do that and you don't have a marketing team, you don't have someone like us to come in and help you. Okay. And that's simply to stay top of mind because if they used you in the past, you're 15 times more likely to sell to them again. Okay. If they have done business with you and they had a positive experience. The other problem is that you're not nurturing people who come into your sales funnels by completely ignoring the email platform. When I say nurturing, and we're going to get into the details of what this actually means, but nurturing is is a very common thing to do in all sorts of industries. But yet the roofing industry I have seen from experience does not do this. So really, all of this kind of goes into an entirety, right? An omnipresence move for your business to make people that fall into your sales funnels, your marketing funnels, it helps to get them to know, like, and trust you, right? People do business with those people. If we don't like somebody or we don't trust that somebody can do the job, we're not going to do business with them, okay? So all of these things email can help with. Now, this is part of our overall marketing system, right? The 4R marketing system, which stands for reputation because that's the very basis of everything that we do. If you don't have a solid reputation, nothing else works. Reach is simply getting in front of more people today than knew about you yesterday. Resell is really what we're going to be talking a lot about today, right? And that's simply going back to that well of people that have purchased from me before. And referral is, that's easy. That's how we all built our businesses. But yet the, the bigger that we get, the harder that is to actually scale out. Okay. So If you get something right in all four of these, if you get a lot of things right in all four of these pillars, then you're going to have a very solid marketing framework. Okay. And this is the framework, by the way, that I've developed over the past 20 years. This is something that I I wrote in my book. Okay. If you want to read exactly what we do, it is right here in 336 pages worth of, worth of information and the exact blueprint of what we do here at, at roofingsites.com. Here are the steps. Right. And then I'm just going to just generally give you the overall steps. If you stay to the very end, I'm going to give you a bonus that will, uh, you can download the book for free and you can get the actual, all of the, the campaigns that go with all of these things. Step one, set up a CRM, right? You can't imagine how, I mean, I talk to four to five roofers every single day and you can't imagine the amount of y'all that are still doing your sales on pen and paper, right? or in Excel sheets. You need a CRM. A CRM stands for Customer Relation Management System. This is something like Job Nimbus or Acculinks in the industry. There's tons and tons of them out there. We have our own called the Appointment Machine where we put all of our leads that come in for our our clients in there. And this is where we do all of these interactions that we're going to talk about here today. But the very first step is set up a CRM. Okay. Number two, send out your monthly newsletter. This is where you simply have to commit to it and send it out, okay? And it's just one of those things to help you stay top of mind with people who have purchased from you before in the past, okay? Or even better, people who might have fallen into your sales funnels, okay, and didn't do business with you. This helps get them to to know, like, and trust you. Okay, so what do you put in a monthly newsletter? Easy. All right. Educational content, job photos, reviews, employee stories, then simply ask for a referral and ask for that review. Okay. That's a newsletter. Now, when I say educational content, what we like to do is we like to leverage the content that we're already producing for our clients, which in in that case, for a search engine optimization, we write blogs. Okay. Because Google really, really likes text. So therefore, we write blogs for that are revolving around the topics of what Google wants you to be talking about. Okay. These are all educational in nature anyways. So why not just leverage that content and post those in the monthly newsletter? Pretty easy. Okay. Job photos. This, I love, love, love job photos for search engine optimization, but I also love it to be able to leverage those job photos, right? To show your experience. Right. So if you do, you might not want to put 80 of those in a newsletter, right? If you do 80 jobs per month, 
but pick out your best ones. Okay. These are going to be the ones that are, you know, the million dollar homes, the five million dollar homes, right? If you're in an area that you're lucky enough to have, like some sort of celebrity that you do, you know, let's say you do LeBron James's house. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's newsworthy. First of all, second of all, that needs to be in and, and highlighted in your monthly newsletter and your website, by the way, and social media. Okay. So everything that we're sharing just about on social media, on our websites, on everything, we just, we're just wrapping it up, tying a little bow on it and sending it out in our monthly newsletter. Okay. Reviews, any really good reviews that you got that month, share those out, take screenshots of those and send those out here in your monthly newsletter. Employee stories, that's easy. These are the stories of what's going on in your employee's life. If they're getting married, if they had a baby, if they're going off to Hawaii on their on their 25th wedding anniversary, whatever. Share those stories. Those stories are what's going to help sell your service. Okay. It's going to show that you guys are real people, that you care about your employees, right? And again, it goes back to know, like, and trust. The last two items are are basically just sections that I would put in your newsletter where you ask for a referral and you ask for a review. Okay. Pretty easy. Okay. Uh, those should go to a section on your website that has a place for you to do either of those things, your reviews. If you want to, you can actually get the link inside of your Google business profile to that area for them to go and leave a review right then and there. Pretty easy stuff. But this is all what you would you would put into a monthly newsletter. I would highly recommend that you commit to sending it out monthly at least and do it at the same time every single month. For all of our clients, we batch these and do these at the end of every single month, okay? Because we've been writing content, we've been gathering job photos, we've been gathering those reviews, and hopefully we've gotten some employee stories, right? And we just wrap it up, tie it in a bow, and send it out for our clients. So next step, let's talk about step number three. Set up your lead nurturing campaigns. What are lead nurturing campaigns? Okay. These are campaigns. These are emails, typically drip series of emails and or texts and or both of those that get people from one stage of the sales funnel to the next stage of where that they're logically going to go to. For instance, we want to make sure that we send out, and I think I've got them right here. We have a cold lead campaign. This is somebody who reached out to you. Okay. Either on your website. Google business profile, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever. Maybe they called. Wherever that they come in, they are a cold lead at that point. Okay. But they, they've raised their hand. So why not have them go from one stage to the next stage, which is an appointment? Okay. Hey, thanks so much for reaching out to us. Would you like to schedule an appointment? All right. This is the next logical step for that. The next logical step after your appointment is an estimate, right? You, everyone, you want to get up on the roof, write that estimate, you send it out, and then what? Crickets, right? And so we want to make sure that we're actually getting them to the stage that we want, which is the sale. This all comes down to what, what we send out, okay? What we want to send out is simply a message that gets them to that next stage. I hope we can all agree that that each of these stages, they're a little bit warmer as they go. So we have a little bit di different interaction of what we share in each of these stages. Okay. So for instance, on the cold lead stage, we might want to share out some of those reviews and job photos possibly. Okay. From to get them from appointment to estimate, maybe, maybe, well, and, and that appointment and that estimate is going to come at the same time, right? But after you send out that estimate, really is the interaction that I'm talking about here to get them to sell to a sale, what do we send out? Well, we send out again, some testimonials, right? We send out, you know, maybe a story about the owner of, of the business and what you stand for. Okay. And why to go with you versus anyone in your market. I was talking with someone the other day, they said that they had someone that came out and there was already a roofing truck that was sitting out in front of that house. Okay. <laughs> They were on the back side of the house that they used the ladder from that other company and went up onto that roof. So you know that people are getting several companies to come out. So what you want to do, what this will do, having a lead nurturing campaign in place will do is it makes you stand out heads and shoulders above everybody else because nobody else is doing it. So next step, set up some cross-sell campaigns, 
All right. What are cross sell campaigns? Well, you know, all of y'all like to sell multiple things, right? I've, I've ran across very few companies that only sell one thing and, and that's just a re-roof. Okay. Most of y'all have, you know, all sorts of things like, like gutters, siding, roof rejuvenation, right? Like with something like roof max or something like that, windows, doors, solar. You have all of these things, right? But are you going back to that well, going back to your database and cross-selling? Okay. I highly recommend that you send out periodically. Don't do it all the time. Okay. But, but go back to the people that have purchased from you before and drip in some emails saying, Hey, we just added solar. If you are thinking about solar and adding a solar system to your house and you want to retain your warranty, you might want to call us because we can install that for you. That could be done through an email campaign. This can all be done through a text message campaign. All right. So these are just drip emails that we send out. And you could do this and split this up. If you offer all six of these items, you can send something like this out on a bi-monthly basis and not really anger your target audience. Okay. And just simply send that out periodically. We want you to put into place and that's just to round out your marketing. Most people spend all of their time in the reach pillar, okay? All of their time in the reach pillar, and maybe they'll get a new website done. But the problem is that you're missing out on getting reviews. You're missing out on, on reselling back to people that have purchased from you in the past, and you're missing out on getting referrals in for your business, okay? All right, so step one, set up CRM. Step two, set up and send monthly newsletters. Step three, set up and lead nurturing campaigns and step number four cross sell right sell those cr- or set up those cross sell campaigns and send those things out that's it that's all we need to do and i know this is a short workshop which is good because we all get back our time uh, and i'm not droning on for an hour get your free book since you stayed to the end use this qr code or go to the link that ross is going to drop into the meeting chat which is it goes to go.roofingsites.com This will get you a free copy of my book. It will also give you the campaigns that we just talked about. Literally copy and paste those things, change out a few things and and set those up in your CRM. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all so much for showing up to the this workshop on how to get more referral and resell, right? Using email marketing. All right. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.